Welcome, everyone. Uh, it's late in the afternoon. It's about 3.30. You just had lunch. Let me see a show of hands. How many of you really want to be here? <laughs> you liars. Uh, <laughs> OK. Uh, so this session, do we have a timer here? You have to stop us, otherwise we'll go on and on, right? You will tell us, OK. So this session is really to get to know Thiraj a little bit, but also to, uh, talk about uh, the future of uh, healthcare. So, Dheeraj, let's start with you. You went to IIT Madras, mechanical engineering? Yeah. Med. Did you learn anything? No. <laughs> okay. I also went to IIT Kanpur, mechanical engineering, didn't learn anything. Now you're doing <laughs> stuff like pharma mm -hmm. and uh, HR and technology. Mm -hmm. So, what good did that IIT do? I, the, uh, India spent like a crore on you, and you know, uh, <laughs> are you giving it back to us or no? <laughs> Uh, no, don't answer that question. <laughs> so uh, today's session is really A, B, C, D. Uh, a is for AI. My name is Bhagwan Chaudhary. That's B, C. You know what that means. <laughs> uh, but today we are talking about Dheeraj. That's D. So there are a bunch of things when it comes to um, healthcare. One is demographics. Let's talk a little bit about demographics. Let's talk about India. Um, where are the demographics going? And in terms of long-term planning, what should we be thinking about? We have a large set of population that's between 25 and 35. They're young. What do they need in terms of healthcare right now? Uh, I think uh, this is a brilliant point and uh, I think globally relevant uh, question. So you see all these countries like Japan and Italy, like you know, much further along the demographic curve. Uh, and there's some East Asian countries somewhere in between, and India probably has one of the lower uh, um, age. I think, uh, you know, in traditionally healthcare, like, you know, it's kind of peaked, you know, in the first, like, two, three years of your life, and in the last 10 years of your life. You know, that's been where the most uh, application is. And I think the middle part of your life is you're probably less uh, dependent on health systems. But if you take healthcare more broadly as just not, you know, something wrong with me and like, you know, getting it fixed, it's about health and wellness. I think that's applicable. You know, that's those are the years like, you know, you're probably the most like, you know, you like you mentioned, like, you know, staying up all night, like, you know, studying for something. You're it's your first job, like first kid, like you're managing your kid, your job. There's so much stress you're going through. And I think retaining, you know, health and wellness through that is a very crucial uh, you know, uh, pace. And there it's not so much the health system, but, you know, monitoring your own health and doing that little interventions, you know, after these variables have come in, I think the concept of 10,000 steps in a day has become more popular. Yep. And scientifically, uh, you know, it's a reasonably valid concept, but I think culturally it's made a big difference that, you know, whether you're doing that physical activity or not. And I think that's how wearables have influenced, uh, you know, the cultural, uh, for younger people, the concept of uh, health. So, so my question is, in India, are we thinking about health differently? Because these other countries that we are talking about, they have more resources. But they are worried about things like prostrate, mm -hmm. which wor should worry a person like me. Yeah. But should you really care about somebody like me? I mean, you know, we, we are done. We've seen our lives. No, I'm, this is a serious question. Uh, you said most of the money is spent in the last few years of your life. So here's my solution. We should cut the last few years of life of every day. How's that? Okay. <laughs> so I think the definition of last few years of your life kind of is changing, you know, every decade as we speak. There was a time in India where, like, you know, the average expectancy was 35. So the last few years was your 30s, right? Yeah, so, right. And now, but now it's 70s. Now it's 70s, and uh, is that a good thing? I think it's a bad thing that the life expectancy is increasing. Do you guys agree or not? A lot of old people here. They are not agreeing. But what good is a 70-year-old if he's going to live for another 20 years? What good are they going to do to the society? But in your perception, Trump, is the 70 Biden? <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, I think there's two ways to look at it. Like, I think the 70-year-old now is definitely different from the 70-year-olds that, you know, when we were child, when we were children, right? And I think there's definitely more mental and physical uh, acuity, you know, in age uh, than it was. 
And uh, I think, uh, secondly, I think that is an extensible, uh, you know, there's there's no 100% uh, in healthcare. Like, you know, there's, I think it's, it's a continuously evolving thing. Uh, one of the biggest problems, I think you indirectly referred to that as uh, dementia, right? And so, you know, the body's still going, but like in the yeah. mind kind of fading out and, you know, and the cultural impact of that, like, you know. Yeah, in I'm terms beginning of to see it already and yeah. it's disconcerting. And I, I think, uh, you know, there's a huge, um, you know, I'm, I'm in general an uh, optimist. Uh, I think it takes, you know, if you're working in healthcare, I think you You have that. to be an optimist. <laughs> no, and but my question is really about trade-offs, right? We have limited resources. Sarang referred to it. Should we be spending all this money to keep old people older? Or should we be making young people healthier? Sure. That's my question. Yeah. Uh, sure. I think uh, in the Indian context or the global context? Let's take Indian context. Okay. So in, in, in the Indian context, I think it's uh, been much less of a uh, concern. And you know, it might kind of, uh, kind of sound as news. But US, for example, spends 18% of its GDP on healthcare. Yeah. In India, it's closer to 6%. Uh, so, this 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 other angle about india i think india culturally you know we are a lot more about the emotional bonds so the value is not just about pure health about you being you know 70 i think it's also the benefit to your family your kids your grandkids of having you around like there's so much cultural and uh, you know human happiness value to that beyond like the economic productivity which may decline in you know later years which i think cannot be undercounted, and I think we should invest. Okay, I, I'm feeling better about getting old, but uh, I'm not convinced, okay? 